In this video I will show you how to download and import free historical stock price data from Yahoo Finance into your Python environment. And uh, the general assumption is that you have already installed Python on your computer and that in principle you know how to work with Python and how to add libraries to your Python environment. So to get the financial data, first of all we need to download and install the Y Finance library that will help us to automate the data import. And actually I'm working with the full Anaconda installation and therefore I open here the Anaconda prompt. And depending on your Python installation and system, you have to open a Windows PowerShell or a terminal window on Mac. And before we can install the Y Finance library, we have to make sure that we have pre-installed some other libraries. And I'm going now to the project page. So that's uh, the Y Finance uh, project page and here we have uh, the requirements. So we need to have uh, Python installed and actually we should have at least the version uh, 3.4 and also pandas here at least the version 0.23.1 and also numpy and uh, requests. And actually these libraries are all included in the full Anaconda installation. So let's go back here to uh, the Anaconda prompt. And if you are not sure if you have uh, the right versions, then I show you how to update your installation, at least if you have also here the Anaconda installation. So we can update the full installation with uh, the command conda update anaconda. And then we have to press enter. And here I got actually some proposals uh, how to update my Anaconda installation. So there's uh, quite a few things to do. But uh, for the time being I skip this here and select no. So I think still my installation is uh, sufficient uh, to download and install the Y Finance library. So I proceed uh, with uh, no. And now I'm going to install the Y Finance library and I can do this uh, with uh, the command uh, pip install Y Finance. And then I press uh, the enter key. And uh, here we can see that I have successfully installed Y Finance uh, version 0.144. And now we can go to our Python coding environment. And in my case, I prefer working in uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So I open now a Jupyter Notebook. So I'm here now in a brand new Jupyter Notebook. And first of all, I select a new name here, for example, Y Finance. And then I create some more coding cells here. And then we need to import uh, the libraries pandas and Y Finance. So we import pandas SPD. And then we import uh, the Y Finance library as uh, YF. So let's uh, run the cell here. And now let's assume that you want to import and download the historical stock price data for Facebook, uh, Apple and Amazon. And uh, we can create a list uh, with uh, the stock tickers. So here we open uh, the list and uh, then uh, the stock ticker for the Apple stock is AAPL. Then we have uh, Facebook FB. And finally we have Amazon AMZN. And we can actually save the list here in the variable tickers. And now we can actually download historical stock prices uh, for these tickers with uh, the Y Finance method download. So that's uh, the method and uh, we can open the parentheses and we can have a look here at uh, the parameters. So first of all here we have to pass the stock tickers to the tickers parameter and either we pass uh, only one ticker or a list of tickers. So here we pass a list with our three stocks. 
And then we can determine the time period. So we have the parameter start and end. And uh, let's assume that we want to have stock prices uh, for the period from uh, 214 till 218. Then we can use here the start parameter. And uh, we pass actually here a string with the date time format. So for example, January the 1st, uh, 214. And then we use uh, the end parameter. And here we pass uh, the 31st of December 218. And that's actually all. So let's uh, run the cell here. And here we can see that uh, we have successfully downloaded the data. So starting from the very last day in 213 until the very last day in 218. So that's uh, the last trading day here. And we actually have uh, historical stock prices for our three tickers and uh, we have the adjusted close prices that include dividends. And uh, we have uh, the daily close prices uh, without dividends and we have also the daily highs and lows and uh, the open price. And let's have a look at uh, the right hand side. So here we have also the trading volume. So that's uh, the download and we can also save the download here in our Jupyter Notebook and uh, let's create here a variable stocks. And uh, let's inspect stocks here with uh, the head method. So the first five rows. So that was uh, the download of historical stock price data from Yahoo Finance. And of course we can also download uh, currency data or cryptocurrency data and many more things, funds and so on. So the only thing uh, you need is actually the stock ticker. And uh, with this we are finished here. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you also in one of my other videos. Bye.